Hi there, uh, I am Dean Hignan and I'm going to give you some quick videos on some instructional strategies that you can use for English as additional language users uh, or other students in your classroom too. So uh, today's uh, video clip is going to be on recasting, which is a form of feedback that you can give to students when they're answering questions. So, I'll give uh, an example of a recast and uh, hopefully that helps you in your classroom teaching. So here's an example I might uh, ask in one of my questions. What is the capital of Saskatchewan? So what I want to work on is giving lots of wait time until uh, students are responding. Then if I, I ask a student to respond to what is the capital of Saskatchewan and the student says the capital Regina then I would say, yes, the capital of Saskatchewan is Regina. So what I'm doing is reaffirming that yes, they have the correct answer, answer and they're also, uh, I'm enunciating, enunciating the word Regina, so then they can um, easily uh, understand how to pronounce that word. A second part of the feedback, maybe if I ask that same question, but the student doesn't have a response. So here's an example. What is the capital of Saskatchewan? And I give uh, sufficient wait time and the student still doesn't respond. Then I can change this question to more of a recognition task where the first question was a productive task when they're answering from all, all of their knowledge of what the capital is. So a recognition task, I'm going to say, so I'm going to change the question. What is the capital of Saskatchewan? There's no response. I'm going to change it to, is the capital of Saskatchewan Saskatoon or Regina? So now the student has an opportunity to see if they can differentiate, is it Saskatoon or Regina? And then again, they can respond to that. A third level of feedback or question changing that I can do as a teacher in my classrooms is if the student still has no response. So I've asked for the capital of Saskatchewan and they didn't give it. I've given a recognition task and they still have not responded. So this might be a time where I need to do some more direct instruction. So with the student, this is where I might say, this is the capital of Saskatchewan is Regina. Echo, which means repeat it back to me. So then I expect the student to say, the capital of Saskatchewan is Regina. And using proper grammar when we're responding back and forth. So today's video, is on recasting and the different levels of feedback and questioning techniques that I can use to engage the students uh, in the lesson. Thank you, have a great day.